guys and welcome to another episode of In Flanders Wheels. This time I'm taking you to the battlefield of the Tour of Flanders, the cycling race, where I will be riding the three main cobbled climbs of that race, the Koppenberg, Oude Quarmon and Patersberg. So um, right behind me here you can see the church of um, Oudenaarde, that's where the cycling race finishes, so uh, let's go! The Tour of Flanders, or Ron van Vlaanderen in Dutch, is one of the most important and prestigious one-day cycling races in the world. It takes place in the Flanders region of Belgium every year in early April, and it is part of the UCI World Tour. The race covers a distance of around 260 kilometers and features numerous climbs and cobbled sections, making it a challenging and demanding race for even the most seasoned riders. The course changes every year, but it always includes iconic climbs like this one. The Tour of Flanders has a long and rich history, dating back to 1913. It has been won by some of the greatest riders in cycling history. The race is also known for its passionate and enthusiastic crowds who line the route and create a festive atmosphere. Overall, the Tour of Flanders is a must-see event for any cycling fan, and it is a true celebration of the rich cycling culture and history of Flanders. Like I said earlier, the race finishes in Oudenaard, but the starting location changes between Antwerp and Bruges. So right now we are on the Oude Quermont, which is a famous climb in Flanders and is often featured in Belgian one-day races. It is a long and steep cobbled climb, measuring around 2.2 kilometers in length and averaging a gradient of around 4%. The climb is known for its tough, relentless nature, with the cobbled surface making it a difficult and challenging ascent for even the strongest riders. It is also situated towards the end of the Tour of Flanders route, meaning that it often plays a crucial role in determining the outcome of the race. The Outer Quermont has become an iconic feature of the Tour of Flanders, and it is often the scene of memorable moments in the race's history. Overall, it is a true symbol of the toughness and beauty of Belgian cycling. Now I'm descending to the foot of the second climb of the day, called the Potterberg. It is a short but incredibly steep climb, measuring only 360 meters in length, but with an average gradient of 12.5% and a maximum gradient of 20%. The Potterberg is known for being one of the toughest climbs in the race, with its steepness making it a significant challenge for even the strongest riders. It is situated towards the end of the race, following the Outer Quermont climb, and often plays a crucial role in determining the outcome of the race. This one is often the scene of dramatic moments in the race's history. Nowadays, it is the final climb of the race. From here on, riders head top the finish line and out in art. The slopes of the hill were unpaved until 1986, when a local farmer paved the road in cobbles because he wanted the Tour of Flanders cycling race to pass by his house. The cobbled climb became one of the iconic sites of Belgian cycling, and in 1993 the road of the Potterberg was classified as a protected monument. As we start the ascent, think about it, after the outer Quermont drags its way up for more than two kilometers, the Potterberg hits the barely recovered riders with a complete slap in the face. Then there are the cobbles, not too jagged but rough enough to tempt some riders over to the treacherous gutter at the right-hand side of the road. There is a smoother gutter on the left, but it's always shut off by barriers at the Tour of Flanders. The top of the Potterberg Hill gives you some of the best views you can get in the Flemish Ardennes, because that's how this region is called. In the description, be sure to check out the link I added, which provides you with a guided route in this area. As we make a left on the top of the hill right here, it's time to head over to the last, and probably the most infamous, cobbled climbs of them all. The Koppenberg. This beast was first climbed by riders in 1976 and featured annually until 1987. The following year, it was excluded from the Tour of Flanders route because of the Jesper Skibby incident where a cyclist was ran over by the race commissionary's car. After that, the cobbles started to deteriorate and conditions became unsafe for riding. 
Following renovations, it was again included in the 2008 edition of the race and has been featured in each edition since. Feared by many because of its steepness, 22% on the trickiest parts, and because of its cobblestones. This makes the Koppenberg difficult even for top professional riders. Quite often, riders slow down to the point of losing their balance, especially those at the back of the peloton who have to dismount and get to the top on foot. If you're not in the front of the bunch, powering up this climb, your race is over. So that's the Tour of Flanders in a nutshell. For my next video, I will be visiting uh, Normandy, uh, the D-Day beaches uh, and memorials. Uh, so stay tuned. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.